crossing the world of martial arts, entering the Tongfu Inn, and awakening the storyteller system. Just tell the story. You can receive rewards. The opening storyline, Biography of Immortal Cultivation, Han Pao Pao is world.renowned. And as time goes on, more and more classic masterpieces are emerging in the world. Yi Wufeng's strength is also getting stronger and stronger. All of this has to start from the first time Huang Rong took the bait. Keywords of the novel Zong Wu Qixia Town Storytelling, Huang Rong Flipped Post No Pop-Ups, Comprehensive Martial Arts Seven Heroes Storytelling, Huang Rong Flipped Download the complete collection of TXT, Comprehensive Martial Arts Seven Heroes Town Storytelling, Huang Rong Flip Post Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Crossing Qixia Town and Awakening the Storytelling System You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Crossing Qixia Town and Awakening the Storytelling System Comprehensive Martial Arts World, Qixia Town Yi Wufeng looked up at a dilapidated plaque with the words, Tongfu in, written on it. Yi murmured in the air without a vent. Did you actually come here? Yi Wufeng was originally a 996 social animal from the 21st century. In recent years, the company has had poor performance, so Yi Wufeng was fired under the pretext of providing talent to society. Yi Wufeng, who was feeling down in life, got drunk at a bar and didn't know how much he drank. After waking up, he traveled here. While feeling lost, suddenly Yi Wufeng felt some memories surge into his mind, causing a sharp pain in his head. As time passed, Yi Wufeng also gained some simple understanding of the world. This world is thousands of miles away, with a population of tens of millions, and has been plagued by wars for decades. To this day, a situation has emerged where several great powers and countless martial arts sects coexist. In the Great Qin Empire, a hundred schools of thought flourished, and a hundred scholars traveled across the world, producing countless top-notch experts with immeasurable strength. The first emperor held a million strong soldiers and had a net and shadow guards to monitor the world. Giguzi from the Zongheng school, Donghuang Taiyi from the Yin Yang school, Xuanzi from the Confucianism school, and Bei Mingzi from the Taoism school are all unparalleled and powerful figures. During the Song dynasty, there was a Daoist family with a Chuanjin sect, with six major sects dominating the region. The disciples of the beggars sect roamed north and south, and the five outstanding figures in the world were all outstanding heroes. According to legend, in the capital city of the Song dynasty, Bianjing, there was the imperial city bureau supervising the world, and there was the sunflower ancestor in the imperial palace, with Huangshang Daoist sitting in charge. The Ming dynasty, adjacent to the great Song dynasty, had a plethora of official power experts such as the Jinyui, Dongsicheng, and Lufenmen. In the martial arts world, there were also Shaolin, Wudong, and the Five Sacred Sword sect, all of which were temporarily outstanding. During the Wu Zhou period of the Tang dynasty, forces such as the Yin Gui faction and the Tsihang Jingzhai faction stirred up the situation. In the court, Yuan Tiangang's hand was not well held, strange and unpredictable. In addition, there are also countries of all sizes, such as the Great Jin Dynasty, the Great Yuan Dynasty, and Dali in the southwest in the martial arts world, Haimu Cliff, Hulong Mountain Villa, Tianxia Hui, Wudi City, Wanmei Mountain Villa, and others are even more renowned. It can be said that things are changing and people and talents are gathering. And this Qixia town is located in the Guangzhou area of the Ming Dynasty. Sir, please come inside. Bai Zhantang draped a white cloth around his neck and shouted with a smile at the guests coming and going. At this moment, Bai Zhantang noticed that Yi Wufeng had been watching here for a long time. This guest, I'm not sure if you're a top tier or staying in a hotel. Yi Wufeng's strange attire left Bai Zhantang somewhat uncertain. Yi Wufeng felt a bit embarrassed, he didn't have any money in his pocket. Well, I'm here to find a job. I wonder if the inn still recruits people. Bai Zhantang's face suddenly changed, 
and emotions came to grab his job. Then he said angrily. The shopkeeper is inside, ask for it yourself. Standing on the side, Guo Furong felt a good impression of Yi Wufeng, who was charming and extraordinary. Don't worry about Lao Bai, this guy is like this. Are you looking for work, young man? I'll take you to find our shopkeeper. After Yi Wufeng saw Tong Xiangyu, he made up another story about himself, saying that he had always lived overseas, but unfortunately, he encountered a shipwreck and narrowly escaped death. I am currently penniless and looking for a place to eat. Tong Xiangyu felt sympathy upon hearing this. Yi Wufeng, right. I happen to be short of a handyman here. Two coins a month, including food and accommodation, is that okay with you? Yi Wufeng quickly nodded and agreed that those who are unfamiliar with the place here must at least solve their food and clothing problems first. Upon hearing this, shopkeeper Tong patted his hands and smiled. Midi is great. Midi is great. From now on, we will all call you Xiaoya. Don't worry, no one can bully you here. We will be a family from now on. Yi Wufeng smiled and nodded, feeling a warmth in his heart. Ding! Congratulations to the host for joining Tongfu in. The system is currently running. Ding! Congratulations on successfully binding the host. The strongest storytelling system has been activated. Ah! This is my golden finger in the account. Yi Wufeng is extremely excited. My hands kept trembling. After seeing it, Tong Xiangyu thought it was Yi Bei who was moved and speculated that he must have suffered a lot along the way. Xiuzai, please tidy up a room for Xiaoya and let her rest first. This child is pitiful. Yi Wufeng didn't speak much either. After no one left, Yi Wufeng began to ponder his system. After some research, he finally understood the function of this golden finger. The strongest storytelling system. As the name suggests, as long as you talk, you can become stronger. Each storytelling can accumulate different qi values based on its effectiveness. When reaching a certain level of qi luck, one can obtain rewards and improve oneself through qi luck values. Yi Wufen breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. The storytelling system was good and there was no need to fight or kill. In this world of martial arts, there are so many experts. Maybe one day they will hiccup. The outside world is too dangerous, so why not hide in the inn and talk about books? Isn't it fragrant? Host, Yi Wufeng, Occupation. Tong Fu in Worker, Force Value 3, Force Value 5 for Ordinary People, Status. Tired, Martial Arts. None, Ability. None, Item. None, Qi Yun Value. Zero, Yi Wufeng just looked at his attribute panel and immediately closed it. This attribute is simply unbearable to look at directly, it looks completely non-existent. But with the golden finger, at least I have the confidence to survive in this alien world. System, do you have a beginner's gift package? Ding! No effort, no gain, the system does not accept free prostitution, Yi Wufeng almost spat out blood and asked you for a beginner's gift package, which was considered a waste of money. Other people's systems and beginner's gift packages can instantly blow the air. Slag system. Ding. Host negative review detected, system automatically unbinding, please wait, don't, don't, don't. I was wrong, can't I still do it? Yi Wufeng felt a wave of madness in his heart. This system is too deceitful, and he still has to take care of his mood. After Yi Wufeng finished tidying up, he began his career as a laborer. This Qixia town is not very large in scale, with not many business customers coming and going. Some diners are mostly loyal customers, and the dishes ordered are also very fixed, so there is not much to do. At this moment, a table of guests had just left. With a miso sound. A dark figure rushed in, grabbed the leftovers from the guests, and started eating them in large gulps. Yi Wufeng saw that it was Xiaomi, 
a disciple of the beggar's sect at the entrance of Tongfu Inn. Seeing Xiaomi walking in, Bai Zhantang reached out two fingers and blew in front of his mouth, showing a malicious smile. Xiaomi felt threatened and awkwardly picked up a plate and squatted in the corner to eat, cursing while eating. You don't have any unique features in this inn. They can still listen to music at the Funyi Tower in the capital, don't you? The guests next to them also began to coax. Yes, shopkeeper. You come to your place every day to eat, so you have to give us some fresh tricks, otherwise it will be boring. Shopkeeper Tong looked embarrassed and apologized with a smile. My guest, please forgive me. Isn't it that no one here can sing songs? Yi Wufeng's eyes lit up, isn't the opportunity here. Shopkeeper, I can tell books. Are you good at reading? End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Storytelling of Ordinary People, Shocking Four People You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Storytelling of Ordinary People, Shocking Four People Shopkeeper Tong's eyes lit up as if he had seen Jin Yuanbao. Xiao Yi, can you still talk books? Yi Wufeng nodded. I've heard some stories, but I'm not sure if I can tell them well. Shopkeeper Tong wouldn't miss this opportunity. Young people, don't try too much. Xiao Guo, Lao Bai, come and move a table quickly. We Xiao Ye are going to talk. A diner finished his glass of wine and said with a smile. Can this young man tell books? Don't mess around with Journey to the West or anything. His ears are almost calloused from listening. That's right, watching monkeys every day is really interesting. After listening, everyone burst into laughter. Manager Tong is a bit nervous, after all, there are only a few notebooks, and it's not easy to say something new. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Xiaoya's first time talking. Please forgive me. Tong Xiangyu, with a strong Guangzhong accent, apologized to the diners. At this moment, several guests heard that Yi Wufeng was speaking for the first time and were also lacking in interest. Guo Furong and Bai Zhantang have already brought the table and a shocking piece of wood that they got from somewhere. Bai Zhantang nibbled on his finger and said with some envy. Actually, I can also tell books. Guo Furong immediately gave him a white glance. Pull it down. You also know how to tell Journey to the West and the Three Heroes and Five Righteousness. What else can be new? Bai Zhantang suddenly became unhappy. What do you understand? You never tire of reading a hundred books, and if you listen a lot, that's a classic. Lu Xiuzai interjected. Old Bai, you can't say that. Storytelling is different from the classics of sages. It emphasizes freshness, as Confucius once said. Before he could finish speaking, Bai Zhantang reached out his finger and blew. The scholar suddenly dared not speak up. Yi Wufeng walked up to the table and slapped the startled wood on it. Pop! What is immortality? What is mortality? Looking back at the vicissitudes of life, hatred lingers. The wind is like a sword, the frost is like a sword, and the paths of immortality and mortals are endless in the world. One day, when the immortal world meets, we will share the vicissitudes of life with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, Please listen and have fun. Okay. As soon as Yi Wufeng finished his opening remarks, a thunderous shout erupted in the inn. A few originally uninteresting diners were all staring wide-eyed at this moment. This opening statement has never been heard before, it reveals a hint of ethereal desolation in the vicissitudes of humanity. At this moment, in the corner of the inn, a man in a white robe furrowed his brow and had a handsome and cold face, as if frost was on his face. It is Shimin Chue Shue, the owner of Wanmei Mountain Villa. Immortals. Is there really a fairy in this world? It's probably a fabrication. The beggar at the door seemed to be awakened, his bright eyes flickering. But the dust on the face cannot conceal the unparalleled charm. Immortals. There's no such thing as immortals. When it comes to immortals, my father lives in seclusion on Peach Blossom Island, is a genius in heaven, 
ranking among the five wonders. He should be able to be called an immortal. Ladies and gentlemen, please. At the end of my studies, Yi Wufeng entered and today I will tell you a story about mortals and immortals. But it's said that in the distant land of Tianan, countless sects and dynasties, the two sides of the righteous and the demonic are constantly fighting. In times of chaos, human life is comparable to nothing. There is a young man named Han Li, who comes from a poor family and enters the seven Xianmen sect to cultivate for a living. What Yi Wufeng tells is exactly the story from the novel, Immortal Cultivation. This is a non-dot-existent world, but it is extremely similar to the current era. Various forces are constantly fighting, and temples and rivers and lakes are constantly being attacked. Compared to those born with the highest innate gods and demons. A small figure like Han Li appears inconspicuous, but at the same time, he appears extremely heart-stirring. All the guests in the inn were mesmerized by the sound, as if they had opened a brand new door to the world. Even so, not many people in the audience had much change in their expressions. The martial arts world is full of worldly wisdom and swordsmanship. They are all people from the martial arts world, and some are even top-notch individuals in the martial arts world. An old woman in the corner listened quietly with a young woman. The protector occasionally coughs and looks weak and uncontrollable. But in reality, he is one of the four great Dharma kings of Mingjiao, the purple shirt dragon king Daikasi, and the young woman next to him is his and Han Qinya's daughter, the Persian Mingjiao Saint Xiao Zhao. The disappearance of his companion also made Han Li doubt Dr. Emo. He handed over his fate to someone else, destined to be swept away by the wind and rain. However, his own strength is low, can he really deal with the mysterious and unpredictable Dr. Emo? Everyone in the inn is silent, isn't that the case in the martial arts world? What you see when wandering in the martial arts world is nothing but strength. Only with strong strength can one have the qualification to survive. Many of them have been passed down from their school and practice powerful techniques since birth. Only then did I have the confidence to walk in this world. If it were an ordinary person, they would only be chosen by fate. The messy little beggar sitting at the door is one of the five wonders of the Song dynasty, Huang Rong, the daughter of Huang Yaoshi, the owner of Peach Blossom Island. Because Huang Yaoshi was too strict with him, he slipped out of Peach Blossom Island and disguised himself as a little beggar, wandering the world. But he was also very clear in his heart that this world is not so easy to venture into. Even on several occasions, his life was in danger. If it weren't for the traditional Taohua Island martial arts skills, it would have been difficult to survive until now. At this moment, she felt some gratitude in her heart. Huang Yaoshi forced her to practice martial arts every day. Han Li discovered that the small green bottle in his hand could accelerate the maturation of the spiritual medicine, so he conveniently used the small green bottle to induce the spiritual medicine and made a massive amount of pills. With the assistance of elixirs, Han Li's Chang Chun skill has increased at a visible speed to the naked eye. Chang Chun Gong has finally broken through the sixth level, and Han Li also understands that it is time for him to settle with Dr. Mo. At this time, Han Li has already practiced the blink of an eye sword technique and Luo Yanbu, which he obtained from Li Fei Yu's hands. He has prepared poison and smoke bombs, hoping to give it a chance for his own life. At this moment, everyone in the inn was excited. Han Li has been preparing for so long, and finally it's time for revenge. I don't know if such preparation can defeat Dr. Emo. But more people are turning their attention to the green bottle. The spiritual liquid generated in the green bottle can ripen the spiritual medicine. If this thing really exists, wouldn't it be another bloody scene in the martial arts world? Grandma Jinhua's eyes lit up. Thinking of my husband who passed away due to illness, and the battle in the clear water and cold pool at that time, I also suffered from frostbite in my lungs. If there really is such a magical thing, perhaps it can really cure the injuries on the body. The beautiful eyes of Huang Rong at the door are rippling. The healing medicine of Peach Blossom Island, Jiuhua Yulu Pill, is extremely famous in the entire martial arts world. 
Huang Yaoshi is proficient in pharmacology, but there are not many healing herbs like this. Mainly because the materials are difficult to find and most medicinal herbs are not old enough, the effectiveness is greatly reduced. If there really is this green bottle, doesn't it mean you can get a continuous supply of spiritual medicine? It is truly terrifying. The hearts of everyone remained unsettled for a long time. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Accountable Master in the Jianghu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Accountable Master in the Jianghu Everyone listened as if intoxicated, as if in that mysterious and unpredictable fairyland. At this moment, a diner asked with a curious expression on his face. Where did the young master hear about these things? Is there really any fairyland in this world? When others heard it, their eyes also lit up. Although it's just a storytelling, the world it talks about is so comprehensive. It seems as if it is an autobiography written by a highly skilled deity himself. If it's really the immortal realm, wouldn't it mean there are really immortals in this world? At this moment, Yi Wufeng nodded. It's hard to say whether there is a world of cultivation or not. The world is vast, and we are all just a drop in the ocean. Being is reasonable, so some things may not necessarily not exist. However, this is always something in the storybook. Everyone just wants to have fun. However, nowadays in the martial arts world, there are some senior experts who are not inferior in strength to these so dot called immortals. As soon as these words were spoken, the whole restaurant was filled with diners who became interested. From what this young man means, I do know many things in the martial arts world. Why don't you tell us about them, young man? A chubby diner asked disdainfully. They are all people in the martial arts world, so naturally they also know some things about the martial arts world. However, in his opinion, even if there are some masters in the martial arts world, how could they possibly be compared to those towering immortals? This is nothing more than to teach Yi Wufeng a lesson and seek favor from the public. The others also fell silent for a while, although they didn't have much hope, they were also curious about what Yi Wufeng could say. Yi Wufeng smiled and took a gulp from the nearby teacup. It's not just talk, the world is vast and full of wonders. Our Ming dynasty is just a part of it. Everyone knows that there is a saying. Who can write your excellency, the white-headed Tai Xian Jing? Among them, it refers to an overseas isolated island called Xiaka Island. There was once an elderly man with white hair who was invincible in the mortal world. One of them was stationed in the city of Emperor Wu, but he claimed to be the second in the world. There is also a sect called Xiaoyao, where all the disciples in the sect are top dot notch and the martial arts taught are treasures of Taoism. When Yi Wufen talks about the secrets in the martial arts world, he is as precious as a family. But these diners were all stunned when they heard it. Because they haven't even heard of these things. At this moment, in a corner of the inn, two extraordinary beauties were whispering. Sister, have you ever heard of Shaka Island? Another beautiful woman shook her head. With my power in the Flower Moving Palace, I naturally know a lot about the secrets in the martial arts world, but I have never heard of this place called Shiaka Island. The refreshing aura on Shiman Chueshua's body was like a sudden cold light. Invincible in the mortal world. Interesting. It has always been called the second best in the world. If there really is this person, the title of the first in the world, I will take it from Shiman Chueshua. Xiao Zhao bit her nails and thought for a long time before asking the nearby golden flower granny. Grandma, do you know the Xiaoyao sect? Grandma Jinhua shook her head. I haven't heard of it before. Maybe it's fake. Even if it's true, it's just an unremarkable small sect. Our Mingjiao influence is spread all over the world, and what do we still don't know? The chubby diner said impatiently. No one knows what you're saying, it's probably just a fabrication. How could there be such a place? Yi Wufeng didn't explain either. Shopkeeper Tong became a bit anxious and looked at Bai Zhantong beside him, pushing and shoving him a few times. Old Bai, 
You wander in the martial arts world and have a wide range of knowledge, so why don't you explain it to everyone? Bai Zhantang suddenly looked embarrassed. Don't make a fuss. I've never heard of these places before. But the world is so big, can't you pinpoint them? I see that even the famous thief in the martial arts world, Bai Zhantang, doesn't know these places. It's probably something that Yi Wufeng came up with on his own. At this moment, the beggar by the door seemed to have thought of something and said. Sir, since you know so many things, can you know that the peach blossom shadow falls and the divine sword flies, and the blue sea tidal life presses the jade flute? Obviously, the person who said this is Huang Rong. Obviously, Huang Rong's words were also a bit difficult. This sentence is engraved on both sides of the pavilion on Peach Blossom Island, and those who have not been to Peach Blossom Island naturally do not know. Yi Wufeng was extremely surprised in his heart, and he didn't expect anyone in the martial arts world to know this sentence. I think I have been to Peach Blossom Island. However, the guests inside the inn were all looking confused. The chubby diner said impatiently. I'm talking about experts in the martial arts world. What poetry and prose are you talking about here? Yi Wufeng smiled and said. I have indeed heard this sentence, and it should be Huang Yaosher, the owner of Peach Blossom Island. Huang Dao Lord, as one of the five wonders, has reached the level of a grandmaster in his strength, which is truly unfathomable. Especially the Peach Blossom Island martial arts skills such as Falling Hero Divine Sword Palm, comma, Blue Sea Tidal Song, comma, Finger Flicking Divine Skill, and Orchid Brush Acupoint Hand, are all famous unique skills. It's just a pity. The martial arts skills of the Yellow Island Lord are unparalleled, but their inheritance has withered. The six disciples sitting down, Chen Meilu, Chu Fengwu, unfortunately became physically disabled. It's really a pity. The people in the inn were immediately stunned upon hearing this. Peach Blossom Island Lord Huang Yaosher and his team knew, but they didn't expect this poem to describe him. The martial arts of Peach Blossom Island are also cherished by him. At this moment, everyone looked at Yi Wufeng with a slightly different expression in their eyes. The most shocked person in the crowd was Huang Rong, dressed as a beggar. Some of these Peach Blossom Island martial arts are not well dot known to people. Moreover, the last sentence also mentioned her father's six disciples. In Huang Rong's memory, it seems that there were indeed these few people present when she was young. But from one day on, they disappeared, and the people of Peach Blossom Island were also very secretive about this matter. After a long time, she couldn't remember this, and unexpectedly, Yi Wufeng knew about it. Huang Rong's eyebrows furrowed tightly, indicating that Yi Wufeng was not simple. At least ordinary people cannot understand Peach Blossom Island so clearly. Does he know my dad? I just had an idea, but it was overturned by Huang Rong. After all, Yi Wufeng's age is displayed in this place. Huang Yaoshi has not been to Peach Blossom Island in recent years, how could they possibly know each other? However, at this point, Huang Rong had already made up her mind to ask carefully after he finished speaking the book. At least you need to know what happened back then, and how are your senior brothers doing now? At this moment, Grandma Jinhua hunched her body and spoke in a somewhat hoarse voice. Mr. Xiao knows so much, what do you think of the masters of Mingjiao? Golden Flower Granny, just finished speaking. The entire inn suddenly became much quieter. At this time, although Mingjiao was scattered in sand, it was actually fierce and powerful outside. Unexpectedly, this person asked about Mingjiao. Is this person related to Mingjiao? At this moment, Bai Zhantang's face turned ugly. Not good, Xiaoya is in danger. This sentence startled manager Tong. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Ouyang Feng cannot stand on the stage. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Ouyang Feng cannot stand on the stage today, Yi Wufeng said that on his first day, he sold more than ten times more alcohol than usual, let alone other things. Old Bai, what does this mean? 
Does anyone else know how to deal with Xiaoya? Bai Zhantang's face was somewhat gloomy. Just now, the mother dot in dot law asked about Mingjiao. If Xiaoya were to reveal it, would anyone think that he has any connection with Mingjiao? If he reveals some hidden information about Mingjiao again, wouldn't it cause a fatal accident? If I don't say it, if I don't talk to anyone else, this mother dot in dot law alone probably won't be willing to give up. Shopkeeper Tong suddenly felt a bit embarrassed and could only speak with a stern expression. Don't be afraid. The Yi family is from the Longmen Escort Agency, and they have a bit of a thin side. They probably don't know how to take action, do they? Bai Zhantang gave Tong Xiangyu a helpless glance. There are not many martial arts heroes in this world, and a small escort agency is unlikely to be seen by them. Yi Wufeng coughed and said calmly. Mingjiao originated in Persia, and there are many masters in it, not to mention that the leader of Mingjiao, Zhang Wuji, has the the Nine Yang Manual and the Great Movement of Heaven and Earth, and has learned Taijiquan in Wudang. He is powerful. Sitting down and being carefree, the two masters, left envoy Yang Xiao, and right envoy Fan Yao, are not weak. The Four Great Protections of the Teaching Method Wang Zi, by Jin Qing, Zi Shan Long Wang Dai Qi Si, by Main Wang Yin Tianzheng, Jin Mao Lian Wang Xie Sun, Qin Yi Bat Wang Wei Yi Xiao, combined with the five scattered people, five elements flag, and four gates of heaven, earth, wind and thunder, their strength is indeed not weak. Grandma Jin Hua's eyes were full of surprise, and many experts in Mingjiao knew about it. But there are probably not many who know so well especially the right envoy Fan Yao, who had long been absent from the Ming religion. And not many people know about her title of Purple Shirt Dragon King, and even his name, except for the disciples in the sect, few people know about it. How did Yi Wufeng know? At this moment, Grandma Jinhua's heart was filled with suspicion. The people in the inn have also heard of many masters of the Ming sect, but they don't know much about them. It's unexpected that there are so many masters in the Ming sect. Even Yin Tianzheng, who founded the Heavenly Eagle sect, and Xie Sun, the Golden Lion King who disappeared in Wangpan Mountain, are also members of the Ming sect. These guests seem to have heard the Big Melon and were somewhat unsatisfied. Young Master Yi, I wonder if there are any other experts in the martial arts world. Yi Wufeng thought for a moment. There are too many experts in the world, such as the sword Saint Feng Qingyang hidden in Huashan, the lord of Baiyun city Yiguqin, the Lingjiu palace Tianshan Tonglao, the rewarding and punishing envoy Zhang Sanli Si. Before Yi Wufeng could finish speaking, he was interrupted by a voice. Young Master Yi has said so much, why hasn't he mentioned Ouyang Peak in Baitua Mountain Villa? Yi Wufeng followed the sound and saw four white-clad women wearing veils. I believe these few people are from Baitua Mountain Villa. When I heard that there was no Ouyang Feng among the people I just listed, I naturally felt dissatisfied. Others also turned their gaze to Yi Wufeng and listed Huang Yaoshi among the five wonders, why didn't they mention Ouyang Feng? Although Ouyang Feng is the head of the White Camel Mountain Villa, his proudest skill is the method of poisoning. His true martial arts are only toad skill and spirit snake fist. There are many top-notch martial arts in this world, and toad skill is indeed somewhat inferior. After listening, everyone's hearts were filled with excitement. This Ouyang Feng has made a great name in the western regions, and his toad skill is also feared by people. However, it turned out to be worthless in Yi Wutue. After hearing this, the four women's faces turned extremely ugly. One of the women in white grabbed the sword in her hand and was about to take action. But was stopped by another woman. She said softly. There are many people here with mixed eyes, so don't take any action. If you find an opportunity later, make sure to make him look good. After listening, the woman reluctantly withdrew her sword and patiently listened to the book. Huang Rong was extremely happy to hear Yi Wufeng's evaluation. Ouyang Feng, as one of the Five Wonders, naturally had a lot of contact with Huang Yaoshi. Even she has had several contacts with Ouyang Feng. 
but he has a strong aversion to Ouyang Feng's personality. Especially in his use of poison and his ruthless personality. And just now, Yi Wufeng's comments made him feel a burst of joy. Thinking to himself, as expected, heroes have similar views. Ouyang Feng is full of bad luck and is not a good person at all. Just him, how could he be compared to my dad? Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing their first storytelling and gaining 1000 chi points, ding. Congratulations to the host for shocking the audience with their storytelling. Achieve a random lottery opportunity for achievement rewards asterisk 3, two voices appeared in Yi Wufeng's mind. Yi Wufeng was pleasantly surprised in his heart, not expecting to achieve such a good result the first time he said he lost. Chi luck value can be used to purchase things in the system mall, and politics can also directly instill cultivation. It can be said to be an existence of all kinds of gold. Of course, the obtained chi luck value depends on the effect of storytelling. The better the effect, the more chi luck you will gain. The lottery opportunity is obtained through the achievements achieved. Of course, there are also other hidden tasks in the system, which will be further explored later. The storytelling task for today has been completed. Yi Wufeng is eagerly preparing to return to the lottery. I saw Yi Wufeng give a stunning slap. Anticipate the future and listen to the breakdown in the next section. Then he turned around and left directly. What? Done. Is that all for now? Many people are particularly anxious in their hearts, and they have not yet fully experienced it. Especially after Hanli, did he defeat Dr. Mo? I just talked about the key point, but suddenly it disappeared. Many people are still unsatisfied. At this moment, Manager Tong hurriedly ran out, smiling and apologizing. Ladies and gentlemen, don't worry. Xiaoya is speaking for the first time today and is a bit tired now. Next time, make sure everyone listens enough. Upon hearing Manager Tong's promise, these people's emotions were calmed down. After everyone left, they softly discussed what had just been said and the experts listed by Yi Wufeng. Especially a few people from the martial arts world, I heard that such storytelling will continue in the future. They all expressed their intention to stay at Tongfu Inn to wait for the next storytelling. This has made Tong Xiangyu extremely happy. Oh my god! This little leaf is simply my god of wealth, he just said he made so much money for me on the first day. Looking at today's harvest, Tong Xiangyu suddenly felt that a happy day was coming, and countless gold ingots in front of him were waving to him. Bai Zhantang felt a bit worried in his heart. Yi Wufeng's actions certainly left them with a great reputation at Tongfu Inn. But it has also caught the attention of many people, especially today's evaluation of current martial arts masters. I believe it won't take long to spread, and I'm afraid the world won't be peaceful then. Huang Rong, sitting at the door, looked at the people from the White Camel Villa with a cold expression. Obviously, these few people will never give up easily. However, as soon as Yi Wufeng thought about how much he admired her father, Huang Yaosher, he couldn't help but feel a slight liking in his heart. This time, I have shown great mercy. I see which little rascal dares to take action under my nose. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Drawing the Wash Marrow Sutra You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Drawing the Wash Marrow Sutra Yi Wufeng returned to his room, closed the door, and sat on the bed. Immediately communicated the system in my mind. Sure enough, after this storytelling, there are 1,000 more luck points in the system, and there are still three chances for a lottery. Yi Wufeng first turned his gaze to the system mall. The mall is filled with various items, including a dazzling array of top dot notch techniques. Covering the Sky Method 1000000009 Secrets 1000000 Holy Method of Fighting 1000000 Congenital Treasure Tai Chi Diagram 
10000000 merit, spirit treasure, an auspicious golden hoop staff for the day after tomorrow. 10000000 seeing these countless zeros, Yi Wufeng felt speechless in his heart. Who created this system on earth? Why put so many useless things? It seems like he can save up so much luck. This storytelling can certainly increase his fame and bring him more chi points in the future, but it also attracts many people. The martial arts world is full of grudges and grudges. If you don't have any skills on your body, you may die without a place to bury them. Accumulating so much chi value can be a valuable asset. Of course, there are also some cheaper things in the system. Iron cloth shirt. 800 Taizu long fist. 300 useless iron sword. 100 beggars sect disciples begging jar. 100 of course, in addition to these martial arts secrets and items in the system. It is possible to directly instill cultivation through the use of qi yun value. In this world, cultivation can be divided into non-mainstream, second dot rate, first dot class, super first dot class, acquired, innate, master, great master, unity of heaven and man, land immortals. As for the latter few realms, they almost all exist in legends. The mastery of cultivation techniques can also be improved through the use of chi points. The proficiency of techniques can be divided into six levels. Beginner's insight, entering the hall and entering the room, achieving minor accomplishments, integrating, reaching the pinnacle of perfection, and returning to simplicity. At this moment, Yi Wufeng looked at the reward he had received from his storytelling and suddenly felt that the task was heavy and the road ahead was long. I saw Yi Wufeng take a deep breath. The system is starting a lottery. A huge spinning wheel in Yi Wufeng's mind was spinning rapidly, filled with various things. I only saw the turntable spinning rapidly and suddenly came to a stop. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Heart Method Secret Scripture Wash Marrow Classic, Yi Wufeng's eyes lit up and he didn't expect a successful start. This Wash Marrow Sutra is one of the two highest martial arts created by Bodhisattva at that time, and it is on par with the Shaolin Yi Jin Jing. Both can change a person's qualifications, and the Yi Jin Jing mainly functions externally. By forging bones through the Yi Jing, the stretchability of the human body is enhanced, while the main function of the Shi Sui Jing is to wash the meridians and cut the marrow. People who eat grains indeed accumulate a lot of toxins in their bodies. The main purpose of the Wash Marrow Classic is to expel these toxins from the body, thereby improving one's own physical talent. These two sets of martial arts are extremely rebellious, but they also have many limitations. So not many have been passed down. The Yi Jin Jing can still be achieved through cultivation, while the difficulty of refining the Shi Sui Jing is even higher. Therefore, the reputation is not prominent, and there is even a great possibility that it has been lost. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining it. One cultivation improvement card can elevate one's cultivation to second rate, seeing this reward, Yi Wufeng pursed his lips, indicating that he was not satisfied at all. I just checked the system. From never entering the mainstream to being promoted to second rate, it is only 500 chi luck points. But to transition from second rate to first rate, it requires 2000 gas transportation values. It seems that the idea of becoming a first dot class expert today is impossible. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining 500 tails of silver, what? Is this system so sophisticated? Surprisingly, he returned the money. Compared to the first two rewards, the third reward is far inferior. At this moment, Yi Wufeng let out a sigh, it seemed that he still had to work hard to accumulate his energy. At this point, Yi Wufeng took a card and tore it open directly. Suddenly, a stream of light appeared in the card and directly entered Yi Wufeng's mind. Soon, Yi Wufeng felt an extremely powerful force filling his limbs. It's as refreshing as being exposed to sunlight. Yi Wufeng felt an inexhaustible force on himself. At this moment, 
I thought of the Wash Marrow Sutra and saw that it has a total of six layers, and ascending to the first layer only requires 500 qi points. Subsequently, Yi Wufeng conveniently added 500 qi points to the first layer of the Wash Marrow Sutra. With the first time he washed his tendons and marrow, a black dirt appeared on Yi Wufeng's body, and a foul smell hit, causing Yi Wufeng to collapse. A refreshing breeze blew by, and the dirt seemed to disappear as if it didn't exist. Yi Wufeng couldn't help admiring the system, which is really awesome and provides after dot sales service. System, open personal panel. Host, Yi Wufeng, occupation. Tongfu and worker, force value 48, force value 5 for ordinary people, martial arts realm. Late second class, status. None, martial arts. Wash Marrow Classic, First Level, Ability. None, Item. 500 Tales of Silver, Qi Yun Value. 500, Comment. In this chaotic world where martial arts are paramount, you are still a little trash, seeing this data, Yi Wufeng sighed and it was indeed too weak. But today is still the first time I've talked about it, and I've already gained so much. If I could say more in the future, wouldn't it be possible to reach the pinnacle of life soon? At this moment, Yi Wufeng suddenly felt a burst of blood all over his body, gritted his teeth, and made up his mind. No way. As a former 996 social animal, I want to take a test, I want to tell a story, and no one can stop me. Yi Wufeng made up his mind to go storytelling. Suddenly, a knock was heard on the door. Yi Wufeng looked curious, who was actually looking for him at this moment. Didn't I already tell the shopkeeper? He needs to rest for a while now. Who is it? Yi Wufeng shouted at the door. However, there was no response at the door, it was still the knocking just now. Yi Wufeng was a bit worried in his heart. Did the women from the White Camel Villa just come to pick on him? It's impossible, even if they come to cause trouble it's impossible to see it in the broad daylight now. Yi Wufeng cautiously arrived at the door, holding a stool in his hand. I saw him quietly open the door, and as the people outside were about to come in, he picked up the stool in his hand and jumped up, hoping to be knocked down by someone in the future. The person who came in saw Yi Wufeng rushing towards him. Startled, he directly used his lightness skills and jumped to one side. You're going to die. Yi Wufeng missed a single blow and looked up to find that the person who came was the little beggar who had just listened to the book. I breathed a sigh of relief in my heart. Although I didn't know who this little beggar was, he would never harm him. Yi Wufeng asked with a puzzled expression on his face. It's you. Is there anything you're looking for me about? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Huang Rong Shock you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Huang Rong Shock I saw this little beggar airing patchwork clothes and holding a bamboo pole in his hand. He sat casually on the side stool, picked up the tea cup from the table, and started drinking water. Yi Wufeng felt a moment of silence in his heart. Hey, we don't seem to know each other yet. You're just eating and drinking in my room like this. The little beggar stomped his foot in anger and said angrily. You're such a dog biting LV Dongbin. I've helped you so much. Just don't say thank you, what's wrong with taking a sip of water from you? Upon hearing these words, Yi Wufeng's head was immediately filled with question marks. Ah. Help me. What did you help me with? You just helped me with a show. Yi Wufeng thought to himself. At this moment, when the little beggar was about to say something, his gaze suddenly focused on Yi Wufeng, as if he had discovered something remarkable. Eh. Yi Wufeng felt a little furry when he saw the little beggar staring at him like this. Hurriedly touched his face. Is there anything on my face? The little beggar instinctively shook his head. That's not true. I remember you don't know martial arts, why did you suddenly become a second-rate expert? The little beggar felt a doubt in his heart, knowing that he had only been able to cultivate from a young age and finally reached the top level. 
the cultivation speed is already much faster than many people in the martial arts world. However, Yi Wufeng has actually reached the second rate at this age. Did he just hide his cultivation on stage? Are you in a second-rate realm before? Yi Wufeng was slightly surprised that the little beggar could see through his own situation. I can only nod and say. That's right, I've been practicing for a long time and have always been in this realm. The little beggar thought to himself. I believe you're a ghost, do you think I'm a fool? If this person's cultivation is extremely advanced, Huang Rong still believes that he has hidden something before. But just a second-rate expert, there is no way to hide one's aura, let alone the necessity. So in Huang Rong's opinion, Yi Wufeng's cultivation must have existed before, and he was definitely not just a second-rate expert. At this moment, Huang Rong took a cold breath. If that's the case, it's really terrifying. Looking at Yi Wufeng's age so young. Maybe it's a hidden and unparalleled power. Seeing Huang Rong's frightened expression, Yi Wufeng suddenly felt inexplicable and thought to himself. Isn't this person a fool? Hey! I've been waiting for a while, who the hell are you looking for me for? At this moment, Huang Rong, who was daydreaming, was suddenly interrupted. She swallowed a mouthful of water and quickly said. No, it's nothing. I just came to borrow some water to drink. After I finish drinking, I'll leave first. After speaking, if you want to escape, usually leave this room. Yi Wufeng suddenly felt inexplicable. When Huang Rong escaped from Tongfu Inn, she patted her chest and gasped for breath. I thought it was okay to discover such a big secret today. Yi Wufeng is definitely a remarkable reclusive expert, otherwise how could he possibly know so many secrets? It seems that in the future, we should respect Yi Wufeng more. It's just that Yi Wufeng is so young and has such a high level of martial arts. He is truly a rare young talent. Thinking of this, Huang Rong blushed a bit. After seeing the little beggar leave, Yi Wufeng also knew that it was not time to lose now, so let's wait for tomorrow. But now is the time to lay the foundation. With such an incredible skill as the Wash Marrow Sutra, do you still worry about not reaching a higher level in the future? Thinking of this, Yi Wufeng closed his eyes and began practicing. Until there was another knocking on the door outside. Yi Wufeng opened the door and found that the person who came was Bai Zhantang. Xiaoya, did the shopkeeper ask you to go eat? Bai Zhantang's eyes widened before he could finish speaking. Fingering at Yi Wufeng, he said. Xiaoya, do you know martial arts? Are you also from the martial arts world? Yi Wufeng felt speechless in his heart, as anyone could tell that he knew martial arts. Yi Wufeng quickly rushed over and covered Bai Zhantang's mouth. Brother Bai, keep a low voice. Don't worry, I'm just a storyteller, not a person from the martial arts world. Bai Zhantang broke open Yi Wufeng's hand. All right, all right. Don't you believe me, Brother Bai? Everyone has their own secrets, it's not embarrassing. Just live a peaceful life in the future. Yi Wufeng nodded moved. At this moment, he seemed to have thought of something and said curiously. Brother Bai, why can you tell that I know martial arts? Bai Zhantang looked at Yi Wufeng as if he were looking at a fool, thinking to himself that Yi Wufeng was practicing his own family martial arts. However, because someone in his family had an accident, no one explained it to him, so he didn't even know how to control his internal breathing. Xiaoya, most people in the martial arts world know a method to restrain their internal breathing. As long as they can restrain their internal breathing, unless that person has high martial arts skills or you have leaked your internal energy, they generally cannot see it. Subsequently, Bai Zhantang handed over the method of restraining internal breathing to Yi Wufeng. The two of them had just come downstairs when they saw each other, holding a large sum of money and laughing uncontrollably. Bai Zhantang said with a disdainful expression. All right, all right, look at your financial fanatic. Where's the young lady from Longmen Escort Agency? Tong Xiangyu was immediately displeased upon hearing this. What a drop. 
you guys can eat and drink well, it's all a drop. We earn our own money, it's very clean, and these are all things I left behind to care for. If I had known earlier, I shouldn't have gotten married. If I hadn't gotten married, my. Tong Xiangyu instantly opened up the mode of selling tragedy. Guo Furong suddenly trembled all over her body. Oh. All right. Besides, I'm getting goosebumps all over. We have such a good business today, isn't it all because Xiaoya spoke so well? Tong Xiangyu quickly nodded and said yes. That's right, I didn't expect Xiaoya to be so talented. Come and add a chicken leg to Xiaoya. Xiaoya, tomorrow. Yi Wufeng smiled and said. Don't worry, shopkeeper. I'll continue talking tomorrow. Upon hearing this, shopkeeper Tong's mouth immediately cracked like a lotus flower. Yi Wufeng returned to the house and began to continue his cultivation. It wasn't until he heard a rooster crow outside that Yi Wufeng realized he had been practicing all night. However, his cultivation is indeed different. He didn't sleep all night and now he still looks so energetic. However, it is not without gains, and now the power I have just gained has completely stabilized and can be controlled. Bai Zhantang had just opened the store door when suddenly a loud noise came from the door. People outside rushed in and knocked Bai Zhantang aside. Bai Zhantang sat on the ground, as if he hadn't realized what had happened yet. Obviously, the person who listened to the book yesterday came again and had already secured the seat. Bai Zhantang felt speechless in his heart, thinking to himself, is it just a storyteller? As for such a big reaction. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Martial Arts Ranking You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Martial Arts Ranking At this moment, the Tung Fu Inn was already bustling with people talking about what Yi Wufeng said yesterday. Do you think Han Li can kill Dr. Mo? We've already prepared so much. I think it's a bit mysterious, after all, his martial arts are all taught by family members. After I went back, I asked my elders at home, and they said that there is really a person named Qingqing Qing in Huashan. As for whether he is still alive, I don't know. I didn't expect Mr. Yi to know so much. We need to listen carefully this time. Upon hearing the noise outside, the shopkeeper Tong didn't know whether to like or use it. Seeing Yi Wufeng approaching, shopkeeper Tong quickly said. Xiaoya, you have come. The guests outside have been waiting for you for a long time. Yi Wufeng nodded with a smile and then came to the table that had already been prepared. A few guests smiled and said. Mr. Yi, you have been eagerly anticipated. Today, you need to tell us more. Yeah. What happened to Han Li and what happened afterwards? Yi Wufeng smiled and waved his hand without saying anything, listening attentively one by one. Pop. I saw Yi Wufeng pick up the startled wood and pat it on the table. Let's go back and say that Yi Hanli has trained Chang Chun Gong to the sixth level, and also secretly practiced the sword technique obtained from Li Feiyu. He vowed to know the truth of the matter, so he waited for Dr. Emo to come. Han Li used all his skills, and for a moment, he could only see countless figures flying past the lobby, but no one could be seen. Only the sound of metal and iron colliding could be heard. I saw that after Han Li's sword hit Dr. Mo's left arm, the arrow was poisoned, and the future outcome was already decided. Unexpectedly, his descendants' puppet iron slaves arrested him, and the grand revenge ended hastily. Upon hearing this ending, everyone sighed in their hearts. Indeed, Han Li still couldn't defeat Dr. Mo, after all, he had helpers. This Yi Han Li is not a gentleman, he actually uses poison. At this moment, a chivalrous figure said discontentedly. At this moment, a person at the table next to him said disdainfully. You're such an idiot. Any skill in the martial arts world that can kill someone is useless. They're going to kill you. Do we have to pay attention to fairness? It's just that, at least Dr. Mo still claims to be a doctor who treats and saves people. How despicable. 
The crowd was in a frenzy of discussion. At this moment, an extremely irritable guest said. What do you want to discuss? Go home and discuss it yourself. Let's listen to Mr. Ye's lecture. That person felt embarrassed and was about to take action. Suddenly, a deafening sound sounded. Yi Wufeng looked at the crowd and said with a smile. There are various opinions on things in the martial arts world, but it's just one family's opinion. Why bother so much? In my opinion, it's better to stop and make peace. You can't take action in the Tongfu Inn, I don't care about anything else. Seeing that Yi Wufeng had already said so, they could only endure the anger in their hearts. When Yi Hanli woke up, he found that Dr. Mo was holding a strange weapon and stabbing himself, as if using some kind of evil spirit secret technique. Han Li saw Dr. Mo's letter and surprisingly wrote it to himself. Han Li, Mo never explained everything he did throughout his life. To become a king and defeat an enemy, one's destiny is certain. How could a fairy be able to travel the world? We mortals are only worthy of being frogs at the bottom of a well. You can take on the role of a teacher and take a look at the scenery at the top of the mountain. Hearing this, everyone's mood couldn't calm down for a long time. They didn't expect that Dr. M.O., who should have been a big demon and the main culprit, would be so calm. Especially that sentence, why can immortals roam the world, and mortals are only worthy of being frogs at the bottom of a well. Many people in the inn clenched their fists tightly. There are a few experts in the martial arts world who are towering and capable of flying eaves and walls. Compared to them, these ordinary people are nothing but ants. Even those senior experts wouldn't take a second glance. His grandmother, Dr. M.O., is right. Why are all the experts from those prestigious and righteous sections? Don't we ordinary people have the qualifications to pursue them? That's right, becoming a king and defeating an enemy has its own destiny. Why should we underestimate ourselves? Suddenly, a burst of noise came from the inn. Almost everyone's emotions were stirred up. Either unwillingness to fate or longing for the future. At this moment, one of them sighed and said. So what? Not everyone can get that green bottle like Yi Hanli. Our talents are limited and we don't have a deep inheritance yet. How can we compare with them? Upon hearing this, everyone immediately stopped talking. Indeed, there are thousands of martial arts in this world, but they do not have advanced martial arts talents or exquisite martial arts. How can they be superior? At this moment, a guest seemed to think of something and looked at Yi Wufeng, asking. Mr. Yi, there are various martial arts secrets in the martial arts world. I wonder which martial arts are the most magical in Mr. Ye's opinion. Others were also curious when they heard it. After all, for people in the martial arts world, only martial arts secrets are the most exciting. After a moment of contemplation, Yi Wufeng smiled and said. The martial arts skills in this world are not limited to tens of millions. It would be troublesome to have to determine a high or low level. However, today, I dare to choose some from them to share with everyone. Okay. After listening, everyone felt a surge of excitement in their hearts. As the saying goes, literature has no first place, and martial arts have no second place. There are countless magical techniques in the world, and they are still very curious about which ones are more magical. Ranked 10th, the Sunflower Encyclopedia created by the Sunflower Ancestor of the Song Dynasty. As soon as the name came out, these people were all at a loss. Obviously, this name is like thunder piercing through their ears. The leader of Haimu Cliff, Dong Fang Bubi, became a great master of the Ming Dynasty by relying on the Sunflower Scripture. Unexpectedly, this Sunflower Scripture came from the Song Dynasty. The Sunflower Scripture was created by a eunuch in the Song Dynasty. When practicing to the extreme, yin and yang can be transformed into life. Later, the Sunflower Scripture spread to the Ming Dynasty and was given to Dong Fang Bubi by the former leader of the Sun and Moon Divine Sect, Ren Wuxing. Dong Fang Bubi also greatly increased his strength through this cultivation technique, 
taking control of the entire sun and moon divine sect in one fell swoop. When everyone heard this news, they were immediately extremely surprised in their hearts. Oh my goodness! Surprisingly, this sunflower encyclopedia still has such a history, and even with such powerful techniques, it can only rank 10th. A good person asked at this moment. In Yi Gongzi's opinion, where can Ouyang Feng's toad skill rank? Yi Wufeng pursed his lips. Although there are many martial arts in the world, it is extremely difficult to rank, but this toad skill is definitely not among them. Although Ouyang Feng's strength is relatively good, this toad skill is actually just like that, and he can't achieve any fame. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Yi Wufeng opens a new list. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Yi Wufeng opens a new list The people inside the inn were surprised when they heard Yi Wufeng's wild words. If Yi Wufeng had this attitude before, or it can be said that he was young and reckless. I just didn't expect Yi Wufeng to say it again now. Is he really not afraid of offending Western poison Ouyang Feng? Yesterday, while storytelling, those four women were wearing white clothes. It doesn't look like a Middle Earth person, it must be from Ouyang Feng by to a mountain villa. According to their personalities, this matter would never be solved so easily and hastily. It seems that there should be some story happening among them. Everyone was puzzled, even Yi Wufeng didn't know why. At this moment, the little beggar sitting at the door felt a wave of pride in his heart. Those guys really planned to take action against Yi Wufeng at that time. Just when they were about to take action, they were already knocked down in advance. This person is naturally the little beggar Huang Rong at the door. These four women are just mediocre abilities. But for ordinary people, it is already enough. Huang Rong didn't know that Yi Wufeng had cultivation, otherwise Yi Wufeng would have been enough to deal with these few people. Even second-rate cultivators are much stronger than these people. At this moment, one of the guests said with a displeased expression. Is Yi Gongzi having any grudges with this western poison Ouyang Feng? I'm afraid this statement cannot be true. If western poison Ouyang Feng doesn't have much ability, why can he be called one of the five wonders of the Great Song Dynasty? The others also nodded, after all, this record is solid. Back in the day, Hua Shan was known for its five unparalleled swordsmanship, but it gained a reputation from being killed among a group of martial arts experts. Upon hearing everyone's doubts, Yi Wufeng cleared his throat and said, The ranking I made today is only based on the level of refinement of the martial arts secrets, and has nothing to do with personal strength. Moreover, when it comes to martial arts, Ouyang Feng and several others are indeed incomparable. First of all, the innate skill practiced by Zhongtong Wang Chongyang is the supreme Taoist secret script. In addition, his creation of the three flowers gathering top palm, golden wild goose skill, and others are the power exerted by the Tiangang Beidou formation in the unique martial arts world. If the arranger is seven first-class experts, the power of this formation is equivalent to the sum of seven, seven, and forty-point nine first-class experts. What's more, Wang Chongyang won the the Nine Yin Manual, which is known as the general outline of martial arts in the world, after the Huashan Sword Contest at that time. In terms of Taoist details, it is natural to be unfathomable. Yesterday, Master Huang Yaoshi of Dongxia said, there's no need to say much today. What's even more rare is that Master Huang himself has a unique geographical location, unique mechanisms, and all the five elements of music are exquisite. He is truly a rare talent. Southern Emperor Duan Zixing is the legitimate bloodline of the Duan family in Dali. The One Yang Finger is extremely mysterious, and it is said that by practicing the One Yang Finger to the fourth level or above, one can reach the entry dot level of another martial art. As a member of the beggar's sect, Hong Qigong, the northern beggar, cultivates the eighteen dragon subduing palms, which are the most powerful and invincible palms in the world. Although the last three chapters were improved by him based on his own experience, they are still rare, let alone the dog-beating stick technique passed down by the beggar's sect. 
As for Ouyang Fong, the western poison, he is best at using poison. Apart from toad skill and spirit snake fist, he doesn't have any martial arts that can be mastered. That's why Ouyang Fong of Shidwa always wants to seize the the nine e manual in Wang Chongyang's hands. What sets this world apart from other worlds is that the beggars sect here is powerful and even divided into several groups to help each rule their own territory. For example, well known leaders of the beggars sect include Xiao Feng, Shi Huolong, Xie Feng, and Hong Qigong. Unlike many gangs in the martial arts world, the strength of the beggars sect is entirely driven by artists. For example, Xiao Feng's strength is strong, so naturally the strength of the beggars sect he wielded is also strong. As for Xie Feng and Shi Huolong, although they are nominally the leaders of the beggars sect. In fact, the strength is not very strong, and even the eighteen dragon subduing palms have not been fully learned. Inside the Tongfu Inn, the diners present were shocked to hear these secrets in the martial arts world. If what Yi Wufeng said otherwise, they have not heard of it, it may be false. But this matter can be said to be well dot known to everyone in the martial arts world. I even have some understanding of the situation of these people. But I didn't expect Yi Wufeng to speak so comprehensively. Ouyang Feng wants to seize Wang Chongyang's The Nine Yin Manual. Is it true or false? It's probably true. I heard that before, Ouyang Feng went to Zhongnan Mountain to find Wang Chongyang. It is said that he left the Central Plains after being seriously injured by the immortal Chongyang and never left the Western regions again. So this thing may be true. Yang is just a family martial arts skill passed down by the Duan family. He is just the beginning of another martial arts technique. What martial arts technique is so evil? I don't know, I've never heard of it before. If I could use the one young finger as an introductory martial arts technique, it would definitely be extraordinary. Obviously, what Yi Wufeng said has attracted the attention of many people. At this moment, Yi Wufeng cleared his throat and said. Below, I will announce the ninth-ranked magical martial arts. The ninth-ranked magical martial arts comes from the Xiaoyao sect, because the eight wilderness and six harmonies unique and revered skill, also known as the eternal Changchun skill. Dot. When the name was spoken, everyone instantly exploded. Oh my goodness! I really have such martial arts skills, and the name sounds very domineering. How come it feels a bit like Mr. Ye's cultivation method? It's just that, have you heard about, not old Changchun? Can such a cultivation method still achieve immortality? Sitting in the corner, Lianxing and Zhao Yue frowned. At this moment, Lianxing asked curiously. Sister, is there really a cultivation technique in this world that cannot be achieved? This technique sounds even more domineering than the Mingyu Gaon we cultivate. Inviting the moon was a bit uncertain. Originally, he thought that the honor palace they were practicing was already considered the pinnacle of martial arts in the martial arts world. I can't believe there is such a cultivation technique in this world. I don't know if this kind of cultivation really exists, but Mr. Yi dares to bring it up and say it. I believe there must be some basis for it. Haven't you noticed something yet? The 10th ranked Sunflower Manual can transform Yin and Yang, while the 9th ranked one is called 8 Wilderness and 6 Harmonies only self-respecting skill. This magical skill is still ranked 9th and 10th, so it's probably difficult for our Mingyu skill to make it into the ranking. At this point, the two of them immediately gave a bitter smile. I thought their strength was also among the best in the martial arts world, but now it seems that they are a bit lacking. The leader of the contemporary Xiaoyao sect is Bimingzi, who received a total of four disciples in his lifetime. Among these four disciples, the eldest disciple Wu Xingyun practiced this technique, which is extremely magical. There is only one drawback to practicing this technique, which is that one must return to old age every thirty years, and then return to one year old every day until fully recovered. During this process, one must drink blood to solve the drawback. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Vibration in the Jianghu
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Vibration in the Jianghu At this moment, everyone suddenly didn't know how to describe such a cultivation technique. Every 30 years, one can go back to old age and rejuvenate. You said that this kind of cultivation method is not a true cultivation method, and I'm afraid no one believes it. At this moment, one person spoke with lingering fear. This martial arts technique looks extremely terrifying, and every time one cultivates, they also drink blood. Is this some kind of evil martial arts? The person next to him shook his head when he heard it. I don't think so. Isn't that the Xiaoyao sect an authentic Taoist school? I believe this martial arts is also a legitimate Taoist practice, and it's just some side effects. Guo Furong and Tong Xiangyu, these women, were even more impressed after listening. If there is any martial arts that are most attractive to them, then of course it is this kind that can last forever. Who wouldn't be happy to be able to rejuvenate and maintain youth forever? Even Lianxing and Inviting Moon sitting aside have a desire to snatch this martial arts skill. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the storytelling and obtaining 2,000 speaking points, at this moment, the mechanical sound of the system came from Yi Wufeng's mind. Yi Wufeng felt a burst of joy in his heart. He was still waiting just now, but he didn't expect the sound of the system to arrive so quickly. At this moment, Yi Wufeng had no intention of continuing his storytelling. Yi Wufeng picked up the startled tree in his hand and patted it onto the table. Anticipate what will happen next, and listen to the next announcement. Today's storytelling ends here. Please join us next time. After finishing speaking, he ran quickly upstairs. At this moment, the guests in Tongfu Inn still looked unsatisfied. Why didn't we talk about the crucial moment again? I haven't had enough of it yet. The old man next to him said with a contemptuous expression. All right, although Mr. Yi doesn't say much, he's much stronger than the storytellers outside. If it weren't for Mr. Yi Wufeng, you wouldn't have the qualifications to know these hidden secrets of the martial arts world. After listening, the person immediately chuckled with joy. Quickly, the story of a magical storyteller at the Tongfu Inn in Qixia town was directly spread. The content talked about in these two days is enough to cause a lot of shock for many people. In a temple in the southern part of the Song dynasty, Master Eating was meditating and reciting scriptures. Suddenly, I heard the voice of the little monk. Seeing the few pieces of paper in the hands of the little monk, I was extremely dissatisfied in my heart. This is obviously not a Buddhist scripture, it's simply a waste of time. But when he took those few pieces of paper into his hand, he was immediately attracted by the content on them. I don't know who copied all the content of Yi Wufeng's book these past two days. Nowadays, it is everywhere in major empires. Upon seeing the record above, Eating's heart was extremely shaken. Especially when comparing their five wonders. At that time, the five of them were competing at the top of Mount Hua, and it can be said that they had used all their family skills. Even some of Lu's henchmen knew it very well. But why did Yi Wufeng know these things, just like he had witnessed the four of them in a martial arts competition before? Especially when it comes to practicing Yi Yang finger above the fourth level, one has already reached the beginning of another type of martial arts. At this moment, Zhu Ziliu, who was standing aside, said disdainfully. These stinky storytellers dare to speak recklessly. The Yin and Yang fingers of the Duan family are powerful. How could he say so badly? No, I must go teach him a lesson. Wait a minute. Master Eating directly stopped Zhu Ziliu. Zhu Ziliu had a curious expression on his face, even the other three of the four generals around him were curious. Does the master know him? Master Eating shook his head. I have never heard of such a storyteller, but what he said is not false. By practicing one young finger above the fourth level, one can reach the entry dot level level of another set of martial arts. This set of martial arts is the Six Meridian Divine Sword inherited by my Duan family. Everyone was extremely surprised to hear that there really was such a skill. 
the fisherman beside asked with a strange expression on his face. Master, we have been following you for so many years, why don't we know about this? At this moment, Master Eden sighed and said. Of course you don't know, to be precise, there are very few people in this world who know about it. This kind of cultivation is very difficult and requires extremely high internal power. Moreover, one young finger must reach at least level four. At this moment, the four of them in his hands would suddenly lose their composure. If it's really such a secretive thing, then where did Yi Wufeng find out? A lamp played with the Buddha pearl in its hand and said with a smile. It seems we need to go to Qixia town and have a good chat with this benefactor Yi. The White Camel Mountain Villa in the western regions is not large in scale, but there are few people around and various poisons are scattered everywhere. In a room within the villa. What are Ouyang Fong and Ouyang Ku talking about? Ku Er, don't worry, my uncle will personally go to Peach Blossom Island to propose marriage to you. With your uncle and my abilities, I believe that Huang Laxi will definitely not refuse. After listening, Ouyang Ku's eyes lit up and he said with joy on his face. Since that's the case, my nephew would like to thank uncle a lot. Ouyang Fong nodded indulgently. During his travels, Ouyang Ku unexpectedly met Huang Rong and was instantly shocked. But considering that Huang Rong had a father who was one of the five wonders behind her, he did not take action at that time. So he returned to the White Camel Villa and informed Ouyang Fong about this matter. Ouyang Fong dotes on Ouyang Ku extremely. Only he knew in his heart that Ouyang Ku was not his nephew at all, but his own son. It's just that he finds it difficult to speak out about this matter, but it has always been remembered by him, and he also dotes on Ouyang Ku a lot. On this day, many people gathered in Baitua Mountain Villa. These people are almost all famous martial arts experts in the western regions. The only thing Ouyang Fong invited them to come this time was to create momentum for his nephew. Let middle-aged people also take a look at his Ouyang Fang's appeal. A group of people walked in respectfully, and when they saw Ouyang Fong, they immediately smiled and said. Ouyang Manor Master's demeanor remains the same. Upon hearing your message, we rushed over quickly, isn't it too late? Ouyang Fong smiled and shook his head. Thank you all for supporting us today. If our Lord can establish a good relationship with Huang Yaosher, the Lord of Peach Blossom Island, it will definitely benefit everyone. These people in the martial arts world immediately smiled when they heard Ouyang Feng Su Luo. Although they were a bit dissatisfied at the beginning. But after all, this is one of the five wonders of the Great Song Dynasty, and it's not worth it. Ouyang Fong turned around and glanced at Ouyang Ku. Kyle, why don't you bow to some elders quickly? I saw Ouyang Ku wearing a long robe, with white boots dotted with ink plums, a jade strap, and a folding fan in his hand. Like a jade prince. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Ouyang Feng's Wrath You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Ouyang Feng's Wrath If you don't look carefully, you won't be able to tell. The bloodshot in Ouyang Ku's eyes and the deep black circles under his eyes clearly indicate excessive alcohol and color. But these guys who claim to be martial arts masters keep praising. You are truly a wise nephew, truly a talented person. I believe that no young person at this age can match you. That's right, it's truly a family tradition. Upon hearing these words, Ouyang Qing lifted his neck with a proud expression on his face. At this moment, a carrier pigeon fluttered in the sky. I saw a person from Baitua Mountain Manor take out a note from Xinge's leg. The person frowned immediately upon seeing it. Ouyang Fong also saw the expression on this person's face and said with a puzzled expression. Is there something that hasn't happened yet? The person nodded. The scouts we sent out have news. It is said that they have found a storyteller in a place called Chishia Town. This storyteller knows a lot and has revealed many secrets in the martial arts world. He has also made a ranking list of martial arts in the world. At this moment, a master from the western regions smiled and said. 
the people of the Central Plains actually enjoy tinkering with these fancy things, thinking they know a lot, but in fact, they are just frogs at the bottom of the well. However, with Mr. Ouyang's abilities, I believe he will leave a name on the list. A person next to him said disdainfully. What is just leaving one's name? In my opinion, Mr. Ouyang must be at the forefront. Listening to these people's words, Ouyang Fong felt a wave of pride in his heart. He is very confident in his martial arts skills. Although he may not be the number one in the world, there are not many people in the world who can match him. This is the long fan in Ouyang Ku's folded hand. There must be a reason for everything to happen. My uncle's martial arts are unparalleled in the world, and in this martial arts world, everyone knows and knows. There's no need for those ordinary people to rank. After listening, everyone nodded one after another. Seeing Ouyang Ku's admiration on his face, Ouyang Feng felt very pleased. He waved his hand and said humbly. It's just some young people playing around in the martial arts world. These are just some false names, and they don't mean much to me. At this moment, Ouyang Ku looked at the servant and asked. Since that storyteller has put my uncle on the leaderboard, why don't you read out what he said? The servant of Baitua Mountain Villa looked at the contents of the note and then at the others, and suddenly looked embarrassed. Ouyang Feng immediately understood his thoughts at this moment and said with a smile. Let you just say it, don't worry about anything else. These people are all my close friends. Is there anything else I need to keep from them? The servant immediately smiled bitterly upon hearing this. He gritted his teeth and said. The storyteller did not rank you as the villa master, and even said that your martial arts skills were not good. He cursed me for not being able to stand up to other martial arts skills. Upon hearing the contents of these storytelling stories, Ouyang Feng's face turned very ugly. But it's not easy to get angry in front of so many people. The people invited by Ouyang Feng had different expressions, although it was unclear whether what this uncle had arranged was true. But obviously, this sorting must have offended Ouyang Feng. However, the servant has not finished speaking yet. Ouyang Ku stopped him directly. Enough, just a yellow-mouthed child who dares to speak up, it's despicable. At this moment, several Western region's experts next to him said with a curious expression. Although the ranking of this storyteller is not very good, the experts mentioned above are indeed very strong, and even exist. There used to be a sword saint named Feng Qingyang in the Huashan sect. I have heard of this before, but I never expected that he would still be alive. If he were still alive, wouldn't he be over a hundred years old? What a terrifying guy! Xiaoyao sect. I've never heard of this sect before, but I did hear a cave master say that there is a mysterious peak on the Tian Shan mountain, and there is a Tian Shan Tonglao in the Lingzhou Palace. His strength is very terrifying, and he controls the entire 30.6 caves and 70.2 islands. Is this the person the storyteller is talking about? The crowd began to discuss one after another. Obviously, they all believe that the content of Yi Wufeng's book is true. After all, they have heard many rumors in the martial arts world. Ouyang Feng tried his best to maintain his expert demeanor just now, but he smiled and said. This person has some connections. I thought he knew so much. It seems like I need to ask him for more advice in the future. At this moment, Ouyang Feng looked at the crowd and said. Today's instructions from the Villa Master, please remember that the Villa Master agrees that if this matter is accomplished, it will definitely benefit everyone. After listening, these people suddenly brightened up and quickly made a promise, believing that this matter was foolproof. Later, Ouyang Feng didn't want to talk to these people much, so he sent them away directly. After all these people left, Ouyang Feng's toad skill burst out instantly. Suddenly, the tables, chairs, and benches in the entire room were torn apart. The servant who read out the letter also suffered a disaster of no recklessness. Being shaken by this terrifying force, my seven orifices were bleeding. The whole body was black and filled with toxins, and soon there was no sound. 
After Oh Yang Ku returned, he didn't say much when he saw this scene. It seems that such things have long been accustomed to. Then ordered someone to drag the servant down and bury him. Uncle, this storyteller from Chisha Town is really despicable. He dares to slander your name, uncle. Why don't I take a few people to the Central Plains and kill him? Oh Yang Ku has practiced toad skill before, so he naturally knows how strong such martial arts are. But the toad skill, which he regarded as a treasure, was not appreciated by others at all, which made him feel a bit angry inside. It can be seen that at this moment, Oh Yang Foam waved his hand and said with a sinister expression. No problem. This matter must have already spread out. Even if we kill him, it won't have any effect, but it's not urgent now. There will always be a time for us to seek revenge in the future. First, pack up and I wish you a breakthrough in your realm. When you become a super first-class powerhouse in the martial arts world, there won't be many young talents stronger than you in the martial arts world. At that time, you must give your uncle a good long face. Oh Yang Ku smiled and nodded. Don't worry, uncle, with my nephew's strength, few of my peers in the Jianghu are my rivals. When we arrive at the Peach Blossom Island, I married Ronger, and maybe I can find out the clues about the the Nine In Manual Sutra, and all the inheritance of the Peach Blossom Island is in our hands. By then, Oh Yang Fong, the Western Poison, will definitely be more famous than others in the Five Wonders. By then, with your talent, uncle, that damn storyteller will surely be convinced, Oh Yang Fong nodded with a smile, which was also what he had in mind. Sure enough, their father and son have a deep understanding. End of this chapter